The Badgers are just more than 24 hours away from a Sweet 16 matchup. And fans on the West Coast couldn't be more happy to see them. News Free's Jessica R. begins our live team coverage from Los Angeles tonight. Hi, Jess. Well, hey there, guys. It has been a hot, sunny, windy, and busy afternoon here in Los Angeles today as fans uh, were able to see the Badgers for the first time taking the floor of the Staples Center this afternoon. A few dozen Badger faithful came to watch the team's open practice today, cheered on by the Badger band. Most of the folks in the crowd are locals who were able to leave, uh, of course, midday to come watch here. Terry Haas is a Madison native who's now living in California. She says she couldn't miss it. We went to this last year at the Honda Center when they were out here. We went to the game, and they're everywhere at Badger. Badger's everywhere. I mean, they bring the band out here. <laughs> we see Bucky. Now, for some, it may be the only time that they get to see the team. The athletic department says the Wisconsin allotment of 1,200 tickets has already sold out, and alums have been telling us here that it is a hard ticket to get. Now, while it may be harder for some Wisconsin fans to get out here to L.A., of course, on short, no short notice, only winning on, on Sunday, there is likely to be a big contingent of Badger fans here at the Staples Center tomorrow night. We sat down with the L.A. Badgers Alumni Association to find out how more about about how Badgers have come west. I use this place a lot. It's a fitting place to find Badgers in L.A., a taste of the past for these Wisconsin alumni. L.A. is not exactly brought central, <laughs> right? Jill Schlesinger and Bruce Ravid are current and past presidents of the L.A. Badgers chapter of the Wisconsin Alumni Association. There's so many Badgers here in L.A. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of, of people who, you know, are from Wisconsin here, so... There's no shortage. <laughs> Why do you think so many people, Wisconsin people, end up out here? You know, it's a combination of things. It's um, a lot of people want to come out and work in entertainment. You know, that's big. But I will tell you, the majority of people who come to our events aren't necessarily entertainment people. I mean, there's really a, a diverse range of people. We have a lot of people who work in real estate, wealth management. I mean, very diverse out here. Now they'll all get a front row seat to an NCAA run, whether it's at Brat Brothers or in the Staples Center. For us to get this far, a lot of us, except for the last maybe generation, you know, in the 70s, 80s, we didn't really have great basketball teams. And to have this team and this coach and not only the quality of our players, but I think the character of the players, if we're able to watch the games and get to know the players a little bit, uh, I think this is really unique, and then just a stroke of luck, these games are at Staples this yeah. week. <laughs> now, many of those folks will be gathering later tonight at the team hotel for a pep rally, and they're going to gather tomorrow afternoon as the team leaves the hotel to come here uh, to play tomorrow night, too. We'll, we'll, of course, bring you more from that pep rally coming up tonight on News 3 at 10, and tomorrow night before the game, a great story for you. We'll bring you, we'll bring you a story of some Badgers, some alumni, who are also famous filmmakers, and they have a special reason that they are cheering on the team this season. All Interesting. Right. Yeah. Looking forward to that. <laughs> well, look at that weather out there, too. Great Nice stuff. and warm. Thanks, Jess.